everybody, welcome to Hello. Sing. Hello. It's <laughs> Friday, me to interrupt you. <laughs> welcome to Sing for Your Supper. Please look at the cue cards. Yes, I, the cue cards are over here. Oh. It's so good to have you all tonight. We're back on our Thursday night, which seems kind of strange because we've been on every night in the moon <laughs> uh, during the summer, but we're glad to be here. We've got a fun episode tonight. We're going to do cookies and ice cream, mm -hmm. and then we're going to combine them to make ice cream sandwiches. Yes, this will be a lot of fun. So I'm going to do a cookie. You're doing a cookie. We're each doing an ice cream. cream. Two different ways to make ice cream. Which Putting it all awesome. together. Yeah, two ways to make ice cream. Putting it together bit by bit. bit. We got another oh, one in there. Yes, that's true. So we're a little low on ice cream sauce, and I have to say. So we need you to help us out. Um, yes. We're gonna, there's one show that's huge for ice cream, and we have a guest artist tonight. We know that one. Yeah, we know that one. So don't tell us that one. But there are others. But you know, you know, Kevin, yes. singing is really just sustained talking. Is it? Yes. For example, say ice cream. Ice cream. No, no. Ice cream. Ice cream. See? Now who could tell us what that is from? What show? One of my favorites. Yes. It was it. done at Theater in the Park last summer. Oh, it was. just last summer? Just last summer. Hey, we better get busy because we got Oh, we have so much to do. Okay, Kevin's gonna start with his cookie. Yes. I'm gonna start with a Reese's cookie. Reese's peanut butter chips in it and chocolate chips. Of so we're going to start, we're going to, um, I'll show you this here. I'll bring it down and show it to you. This is um, two sticks of butter. I can't go wrong with that, can you? Start with a stick or yes. two of butter. Yes, a third of a cup of sugar and a third of a cup of brown sugar. Our and cookies bar. start up very similarly. Yes, Barb, while I am uh, creaming this together, I want you to answer the question, what is the difference between sugar and brown sugar and what makes brown sugar brown sugar well that's a really good question <laughs> um, and do you know the answer i don't is it is it the processing no is it brown, totally different brown sugar has something in it that regular sugar does it have molasses it has molasses mm -hmm. in it that's right then so you have the dark brown sugar which would have more molasses mm -hmm. the lighter brown sugar yep you could just smell it yeah now, the other thing that's important about using the butter is that you have to let it come to room temperature. Yes. Or else it won't mix together. You want it nice and creamy. Yeah. And you know, the same thing with your eggs. Uh, you want your eggs to sit out and get to room temperature because they increase in volume and it makes for a better product. It's the exact opposite of regular pastry. When you're making pastry, you want everything to be ice cold. Very cold. Not this way. Uh, if you forget to put your butter out to cream it, don't put it in the microwave. No. No. Sometimes don't, I do that. Don't put it in the microwave because it will tend to get runny. So just just wait a little bit. Just okay. wait. Just wait. So we've got our mm. sugar cream. Nice and creamy. I'm going to put our eggs in as far as um, Pauline says, one at the time. I don't know why she says that. One at the time. Good southern schooling. Put that in there. Mix up. I'm going to turn it just a tad. Ooh. And did anybody? I, I see some comments. So I'm going to say that. Yeah, it's a music man. Yeah, it's a music yeah, man. Well, they got it. I believe Kay has been Elaine well, McCackneyshin. Oh, of course she has. Yeah, Rachel said it. Mary, and um, Nancy. Hobbs and Nancy said it. Wonderful. And it has one of my favorite lines. Which is not one poop out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I think he means Pete. <laughs> it's classic. Love classic. It. They don't write them like that anymore. We can do those wrong. I played Marion in college. And guess, guess who was my Harold Hill? Local local actor. Paul? No, that is not. Ron Meyer. Ron Meyer. Ron Meyer was my Harold Hill. All right, let's go back to the cookies. Oh, let's talk about cooking if we have to. I'm going to put now a tablespoon of vanilla in. Yum. So and then I'm going to go to my dry ingredients. I've got two and a quarter cups of flour. And I'm going to turn this down. Or okay. what might happen was when Stephen was helping me make cookies when he was a child. And we put in the flour and he turned it up to nine. Oh, yes. Kaboom! So he was having on a low speed. And we okay. want to add uh, some baking powder, baking soda and some salt. Okay. And remember, the recipes are always below the demonstration. 
I'm going to mix those up and we're going to slowly add this to the. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, so this goes right in a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time, Maddie. Lynn said Phil Keenan is my answer to everything, so he's just going to answer Phil. Phil Keenan was not my Harold Hill. Phil Keenan had graduated by then. Oh, wow. So you did this in college? Yeah, our senior year. That's a lot of, that's such a fun show. They asked everybody what their favorite cookie was. And oh. so, what is your favorite cookie? Chocolate chip with pecans. Why would you put nuts in it? Because it makes it better. No. Nuts make things better. That's the question. Speaking of cookies, um, and you'll see how we get back around to this, this is the one year anniversary of us being in New York for Overture, right? Yeah. Tomorrow. Yes. Well, yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. One year ago, today we were in New York. It was blazing hot, much like it is today. And we were rehearsing to open our show, and it was magical. It, it was, was magical, magical, and we got a gift. Yes. Oh, that's right. Yes. Speaking of Broadway, yes. not only were we on, not Broadway, we were near Broadway. We were in the area. We could walk to Broadway. Well, <laughs> one of Kevin's good friends sent us smackery cookies. Which are amazing. Amazing. Yes. It's also a soprano, so you might have that hit Let's see, was she featured in the show that we featured last week? She was Wicked? featured in that show. She was not green in that show. She was not green. She was she Belinda. Was very, she was very popular. popular. The wonderful Kristen Chenowitz and his cookies. And we devoured so them. We did devour them. And now we have an 11 ounce package of Reese's peanut butter oh. cups and, oh and chocolate. Throw it out get it in her mouth. Like nope. a seal. I'm oh. not eating it. So that goes in. If you haven't figured out by now who our special guest is. <laughs> It's Krista. She's the quiet Krista. lady at the end of the table. <laughs> she was warming up earlier. This looks good. Okay, that's my soup. Okay. Go ahead and stop that. All right, and that's all there is yes, to mix chef. that up. That's all I ever say to Kevin. <laughs> yes. yes, chef. Whatever you say, chef. Mix that up. And now uh, you want to put it in the refrigerator for about half an hour so it gets nice and cold. And then we're going to take this. Hey, you know what's cool with me? I don't think we have to make any corrections. We don't. Well, not that I That's know. Good. So I'm going to do. Why don't you just switch that out? I was just cleaning right. off the heater. I have to give a shout out to my dear friend Jana in Indianapolis, who is the reason I have extra mixing bowls. Ta da! Oh. Yay! Yes. Now I'm going to do my cookie. So I can, I'm going to do four at a time, and we're going to put them in the oven at 375 degrees. Okay. Oh, I mm. I'm going to give Krista the extra batter. Yes. The batter. I'll just so see, this but is we awesome. do not advise doing that oh, because of raw food. eggs. We cannot condone. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start on my cookie. Um, I already creamed mine, and as you will see, just like Kevin, uh, butter. Butter. White sugar. And you know what? My recipe called for all white sugar, but I think when you're making a chocolate cookie, brown sugar gives you Absolutely. a better depth of flavor. So I've already got this cream. So now I'm adding in my eggs, you know, whatever quality. I'm just throwing it. Okay, two eggs, and we're going to mix them. Oh, good. That's really good batter. We do not condone the consumption of raw eggs. I do. Wait till they're cooked. Better when they're cooked. Better when they're cooked. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now this is a chocolate cookie um, because my ice cream is cherry vanilla. Mm. And I thought, what goes really good with the cherries is chocolate. So mine is a nice chocolate cookie. Here's my vanilla going in. So I have white sugar, brown sugar, a uh, cup and a quarter of butter. My little trick, I throw in it. I take out a half a cup of the butter and a half a cup of Crisco butter. It makes the cookies a lot better. Secret tip. Makes it a little lighter too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then I've sifted together uh, two cups of flour, three fourths cup of cocoa. The better the cocoa, the better the cookie. Um, baking soda and a dash of salt. And 
I am not what, Barb, tell me why we always put a dash of salt into these sweets I, recipes. I think because it balances out the sweetness. Now, here's another one of my little tricks. I buy really good salt, actually. One of my favorites. It's a oh, pink Himalayan sea salt. I will add a extra teaspoon in almost any cookie I do. And you get that saltiness with the sweet, and you even get the crunch because it's bigger than most okay. So there you go, you can do that. Now, Ina has a secret as well. She like, when she does chocolate, she likes to put a little bit of espresso or coffee. Oh, yeah. Because she says that brings out the coffee. And it does. In that vegan chocolate cake I made several episodes ago, <laughs> things like yesterday, that had coffee in it, and it really makes that chocolate And you can't taste the coffee. No. It just brings the chocolate out. Right. Mm. Now, I want to say one more thing about the salt. Uh, if you have to sift your um, flour before you cook, and you're going to put salt in it, make sure you sift before you put the salt in, because the salt will go through the salt. That's what I do. Yeah. That's our guest again. You were looking at me and making direct eye contact. I was actually looking at the camera, but you're in line with the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Freaked me out. I was like, okay. How are we doing over there? We're good. This makes a lot of cookies. It does. And I'm trying to get all this in here. How many cookies will it make? Uh, I'm going to guess this makes about four dozen. Four dozen? Perfect for those bake sales that you probably won't be having this year at school. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Never again. Well, we have buffets or bake That's sales. That's right. No Halloween, kids. So just. Sorry, kids. <laughs> oh, oh, But Santa, Santa is suffering. <laughs> Santa is COVID free. And he'll be. He'll be. Santa is COVID free. Okay, I just want to show this. All right. That's the quote of the night. Yes. Santa's COVID free. He's being tested just like We're having t-shirts made with that on there. Santa is COVID free. Santa's crying right now. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. And the other thing I like to do when it smells that chocolate, I like to refrigerate my dough at least for an hour or two. Yeah. Because then your cookies... Are just thicker they hold up better. and they don't spread out of the mm -hmm. so another little trick just make it overnight uh stick it in the fridge overnight bake them the next day or at least give it an hour or two before you bake it so and what go. temperature do you bake them? these bake at 350 for about 10 minutes you want them soft you don't want to over bake them especially with ice cream cookies are you supposed to come this way we're getting some direction from I'm, our i'm watching this up there on the big on the monitor Hello, uh, and the recipe will be on the website right. all right let's talk about that show that we started with oh music man no we didn't start it did we yeah we talked she <laughs> vanilla loves vanilla ice cream that's right yes, you know i just listened to the soundtrack you did oh it's so good it's just Sweet. It is. It's very sweet. It's very sugary sweet. sweet. You know who wrote it? Oh, those Fiddle on the Roof guys. Arnick and Bach. They wrote another little ditty, Fiddle on the Roof. It opened in Broadway in a very good year, the year I was born, 1963. Oh, my year, too. Woohoo! 302 performances. Who was the original Amelia? Amelia Earhart? I know. We have. So hold on. Someone in the studio audience. So it's, yes. Do you know? I I thought it was Barbara Cook. You were correct. That's hey, right. hey, right. Barbara Cook. In the yes. golden age of Broadway. Right. Now, I I have worked with her before. I did a concert with. I know. Worked with everyone. I know. Uh, we did a Excuse concert. Excuse me. There's a name on the floor. <laughs> Kevin dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it. Okay. You know, she said we were working in the golden age of Broadway, but we didn't know it was the golden age of Broadway. Well, that's true. She said if we'd known it was the Golden Age of Broadway, we probably would have enjoyed it. <laughs> I do want to say that Jack Cassidy yes. played the original Kodai? Kod George. Kodai? George. Kodai. No. Kodai. Kodai. Yeah. Hungarian. No, Jack Cassidy Kodai. was the original Kodai. He won the Tony Award. He is the father of Sean Cassidy. Oh. Yes. I always had kind of a thing oh, yes. for. Oh. And that dreamy David Cassidy. Yes. Partridge family. Anyway. And also um, married to. Yes. Shirley, Shirley Jones. Jones. Mama, Mama Partridge. Yes. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Anyway, little fun little fact. Um, they redid it on Broadway in 2016 with 
Anybody want to guess who was Amelia then? I'm going to let Rachel get it on the question because she knows all. She knows okay, all. Okay, we're going to wait. Let me know. And fun who played George, which I think is great because he was kind of a TV guy yes. and people didn't know. Exactly. Boom, he could sing and he was just in that movie yes. Shazam. Oh, he's so. Yes. He's just a yummy. Renaissance and, guy. And if you have yummy. nothing to do tomorrow night, I know everybody's got plans for Friday night now. Oh, well. Um, if you have nothing to do, it's going to be the Broadway production is going to be on PBS tomorrow. Oh, so do free, yourself a favor or free. and watch it. So instead of paying $120 to see it on Broadway, you can see it for free. Which you home. couldn't do anyway, even you if can, you wanted to spend the money. You can make some ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> watch Sheila's room. Hey, speaking of ice cream. Yes. Why don't you make some? Okay, how about I do? Okay. Hey, listen, there's two different ways to make ice cream. And we're two, going to... Two, two, my number is two. <laughs> Are you having a stroke or is that a broad break? I'm in the count. Oh, ah. so oh, okay. All right. Well, let's go back to me. We're going to make um, peanut butter ice cream to I go. Threw you off your yes, you did. <laughs> that was not rehearsed. Um, so we're going to make peanut butter ice cream to go with our cookies that mm. we're going to make the ice cream sandwich. So I have a cup of peanut butter in here. Don't use the natural kind. Use the processed. Why? Because it'll fall hard. You don't want that to happen. It'll destroy. This is when we want processing. Yes. And we have uh, three fourths a cup of sugar in here. So we're going to beat that together, mix it together, and then turn it up a little bit. I know it looks kind of thick. Trust me. Fond memories of making ice cream. With the hand cream and the ice and the rock salt. And you wrap it in towels after and let it ripen. Yes, and you would beg, can I spin? Can I turn it? Can I turn it? Can I turn it? Yeah. Until you turned it for about two minutes. I'm tired, then, Dad. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to do it. Oh, but it tastes good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's that mixed in there. It, uh, that, We're going to add a cup of whole milk. No. Mm -hmm. We're going to add a cup of whole milk. No. Make sure it's whole milk. Don't, this is no. not a time to be taken. This is the time to count calories. <laughs> this is fast. Yes, it is. Strong. It gets around. I can't get any lower than this. It's going to splash, folks. Hey, this is turning to uh, food. We're now the splash. I'm going to spread your bowl. Thank you. How do you do that? So you're trying to get the sugar to. Oh. That teamwork. Teamwork right. makes the dream work. I'm going to add. It smells great. Two, Here comes two Here cups comes of cups. not light but heavy, heavy. cream. Ice cream. Oh my goodness, Adam. All right. Of vanilla. The question to you are vanilla in everything. That's tastes good. They're much the same as the coffee and the chocolate. So make the peanut butter just a little bit more coffee. All right, now you can also add. Or not, but you can add a cup me, of Reese's mini cups and top those up. Uh, those up. But we're not tonight because we're going to put them in the middle of the cookie, and I think we've got oh, enough. Oh, that's called right. overkill. Yeah. So, are yeah. you beating this? No, I just okay. Done. Just yeah. So, what we have to do with this now is it has to chill for two hours in the refrigerator. So, if you'd like to stay with us for two hours while it's chilled, we'd love to have you. But we're going to skip that section because we've got some already made. And Barb's going to show you how she makes her ice cream. But I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. So, Kevin's ice cream. Um, doesn't require any cooking. My ice cream does, and it's kind of more the old fashioned one. So I'm going to have uh, the, the wonderful cameraman. And I'm doing this, will be on the website, but this is a half batch because I've already made some. So I'm starting with um, a cup and a half of whole milk and a cup and a half of heavy cream and three fourths cup of sugar. But you want to put and two egg yolks. 
you want to put some of your sugar in with your egg yolks and mix it up. So that's my egg yolks. Then we're going to heat this up and dissolve the sugar. Good. Close up. We need a close up. Turn your light on. Too. Hello. No, it's right here in the pan. Turn your light on. Oh, right. oh ta -da. it's all about lighting and well, pink gels. <laughs> Never shown up. <laughs> okay. You're getting close. You're very, you're very close. I told you, so close close the computer. Computer. I'm not going to set the computer on So you just want to heat this up till it's simmering. Okay. So Krista, while we're waiting for this, do yeah. you have any... You played Amelia recently, I believe. Yeah. When yeah. was that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Pre-overture. <laughs> Everything after overture is like after you give birth. I have no idea. About that I remember a B flat and uh, not uh, eating the whipped cream in the cup that was given to me right before you sing the B flat. And that show was done in the round. Yeah, it was a really cool set. Pip Simmons directed it at the barn. It was mm -hmm. fun and the it's set was awesome. I like the show. Oh, we have someone taking over. No, I'm oh. oh. I'm, hi. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Good friend, Krista. Hi. Now, that was great. Bye. Oh. Chris wanted her in. Okay. So nice that you were walking by. Oh, me. I know. I was just in the neighborhood. Okay, so we're going to show a little trick as you're. Milk it's hot. It's called tempering. You do this when you do chocolate, if you're using eggs. So these were the egg yolks. And now that the milk is getting warm, I'm going to take a little bit of it out. Oh, gross. And whisk it in to your eggs. And you do this because if you put your egg yolks right into your hot milk mixture, it will cook your yolk. And then you'll have chunks of egg in your ice cream. You don't like scrambled egg ice cream? And nobody wants that. That's gross. So this gets it's your ice cream. <laughs> tempered and warmed up so that when you add it back in, it cooks more slowly and gradually and does not turn into scrambled eggs. And that's what we want. And it goes. Also gives it that beautiful, you know, if you have French vanilla and it's got that nice yellow color. A peek of that. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Now you want to cook this to 175 degrees. And there's two tricks. Well, one's not a trick. You just stick a thermometer in and you read it. The next would be you cook it and then probably pre-COVID, you would take your finger and run it across a wooden spoon. And if it leaves a track, you're getting warm enough. So I'm going to let this continue to heat up. And should we start getting our things for assembly? I'm ready to assemble over here. Okay. This is going to have an exit. Chris is going to come around. If you want to come around here, we're going to start. Dolly assembly. back. Dolly back, babe. Dolly back. Dolly back. Call on Dolly. Oh, I'm going to get a plate, too, so I can. Well, so. then. I'm going to stick my thermometer in here. Now, what happens after you cook that, Barb? Uh, after you cook it, you want to. Bring it to room temperature or stick it in the fridge, and then uh, you can add your vanilla. Okay. And then what I did, I was going to tell you, I'm glad you mentioned this. So I make cherry vanilla ice cream. The recipe I found, I poached. I feel like you should be in here with me. I poached the cherries. What happens when your husband's camera? So I bought, I bought fresh cherries. You put them mm. in uh, a cup of water, a cup of sugar, five minutes, mm -hmm. and then they get all plump. You may mm. suck up that sugar water. Oh, then you nice. put them, cut them up. And you'll see in my ice cream. Then you've got the cherry juice Super. and the cherries in there. So, so while I'm assembling, you're going to get set up to assemble yeah. yours. Yes, All yes. right. So let's come down here, Mr. Cameraman. These are the cookies that we made. No, we did. These are the cookies that we made earlier. The trick to the cookies is you don't want them to cook them and make them hard. You want them to be a little chewy because you're going to put your ice cream in there. And this is the peanut butter ice cream that we made earlier. All right. So we're going to take... One big scoop of ice cream. I got the biggest scoop I had. Put the scoop right there between or on top of the. And you want to make sure your ice cream is a little soft so you can push it down. Oh. Okay, now if that, oh. Isn't, oh. <laughs> if that isn't something else. I want to see yeah. you get that. Take that bite. That's huh? a big. We have a guest to do that. I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's right. This is like the show. I have to eat yes. another thing. That's right. So a big scoop of the ice cream oh, in there. Oh, that looks beautiful. Now, what you can do, and I didn't because I just didn't feel like doing it tonight, is that you can take this and roll this in peanuts on the edges. Yeah. Of course you can. Krista doesn't like nuts. Not, why would you put nuts on something that's to. already perfect? Which makes me no, want to say, I'm why saying, are you hanging around with us? Just saying what know. you can do. Okay. No judgment. Well, kind of little. But okay. So while you've keep, got this, yeah. how are we on time? Oh, my we're gosh. Good. We're good. Um, here's my ice cream, you can see the cherries mm, in there, that was great. and uh, same idea, and here are my chocolate cookies, same with Kevin, I didn't, over. that's why I said 10 minutes, and then take them out, because you don't want these to get crumbly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm <laughs> enjoying mine. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Sometimes you just nice gotta enjoy it. Absolutely. Hey, it's a pandemic, <laughs> enjoy everything. That's Gosh, right. What kind of cherries were those? Just uh, the... Bing. 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 We could have a Bing guy. Did Bing do anything? Well, he Bing. did White Christmas. Yeah. And you can make whole catalog. And, and you can do um you can do yeah. ice cream out of snow. You could. What do you mean you could? So, you can. So there's mine. I'm gonna use your extra plate. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh my she I says she's just saying. Oh, there's the a cameras. big chunk of cherry there on top. There. So that, mm. You can also dip these in chocolate sauce. If you want oh, to do that, well. Is that better than now you're yeah. talking? Okay. You know what? what? These look fantastic. They do look fantastic. Yours are a little taller than mine. They're a little taller, but okay. you can push them down. That's okay. That's yeah. why you don't want it to be hard. I left this out for about 20 minutes. And you just yeah. put that in the freezer. Yeah. And I, I what I would do is now that I've got them assembled, I put it back in the freezer yes. so they can get hard. Yes. And then you're ready to go. But I, I think that's kind of like. Heaven on earth right there. That, what is better on a hot summer day? The cookie ice cream That's sandwich. Great. I think maybe a song might be better. Oh, okay. hey, everybody. We Let's have... gather around the piano. Let me wash my hands first. Okay. Okay. And I just want to let you know my ice cream cooked to 175. I'm letting it cool. Mm. And then if you, nowadays you can get those little plug-in ice cream makers. You just stick yeah, it in. Yeah, that's what I do. It's done. So yeah. easy peasy. Those look beautiful. We'll be having them for dessert. Yeah. Heck yeah. Hey, everybody, come on in and let's gather around the piano. Go and to a different let's room hear our nice. special guests. It's like on the TV show yeah. when they go to the parlor. That's right. Yes. Smoking jackets and all of that. Okay. So, I uh, we just mentioned that yes. Krista played Amelia. And so, this is from She Loves Me. It's yes. the vanilla ice cream song. And again, it's on PBS tomorrow night. Yes. I'm not. Krista's not. The real one, Laura. Laura, Laura. Laura sings it pretty well, but Krista and I. Her understudy, part. Laura Bonacci. Yeah. Be oh, this. yes. Because you were doing sure. overture at that time. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was occupied. All okay, right. here we go. Last night, I was so nasty. Well, he deserved it. My Nichols, and next week there will be. We're doing picnic theme next week, all picnic food, and there'll be a special guest. Special guest star is Julie Ewing. So, so tune Julie. in. I'm taking the week off. Julie's filling in, and good to see everybody. And thank you all for joining us. Bye bye. Bye.
todos lados. 